this is Maestro in association with the Boxing Voice. I'm here with, well, the chain says it all, the quote, uh, Clarissa Shields. Uh, last time I saw you on television, you were actually in the UK. Uh, you're here at the Garden, as we can see. Uh, two pretty big female fights taking place. Are you looking forward to both of them? Both of them, yes. I'm looking forward to Katie Taylor versus Amanda Serrano. And I'm looking forward to Franchise Cruz versus Ellen Sederos. It's going to be great. It's going to be big, two big fights. And um, I'm just happy to be here. And I'll, and I'll be calling the fight ringside because everybody want to hear what the girl got to say because what I say matters. <laughs> and um, I'm just happy to be on the right side of history. Like, this is huge for the women. And with just women's boxing and women's sports. Absolutely. Having been involved in a lot of fights yourself, yeah. having been involved in a lot of weigh-ins yourself, what were your thoughts seeing the two main eventers at the weigh-in? Did they, did they look ready? And did that weigh-in tell you anything about how this fight is going to go? I'm a fighter, so I see different things than what the regular people see when they, when they look in their weigh-ins. But I saw that uh, Katie Taylor is more than ready um, I can see that the nice girl is gone, you know. Everybody talking about how nice and everything Kate Taylor is, but you can tell, like, it's no more Mrs. Nice Girl with her. Um, she wants all the smoke with Amanda Serrano because Amanda Serrano was kind of giving off that energy, but now um, seeing them face off and seeing Amanda Serrano break first, really, 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 really shocked me because it's like, you know, you got all day to stand there. You know, if you want to fight today, that's the kind of injury you're supposed to have and to see Amanda Serrano, like, turn away first kind of makes me um, feel like maybe Katie will win on the split decision. At first I had Amanda Serrano with her punching power and she had that energy, but now I'm looking at Katie like, hmm, maybe she's going to bring something different to the table because she has been around the block before. And she said something that's been just in my head. She said she's been in the trenches before. And she said that it's going to be a time in their fight when they're both in the in the trenches and, and then they have to see, see how they come out. But it will play in her favor that she's been in the trenches before because she has been in many, many wars. Katie, uh, Katie has. So right now, that's what I saw at the weigh-in. Like I seen a medicine turn away first, and that's always a bad sign to fighters. But it may not be. We have to wait till tomorrow and see. There you go. And I'm not just saying this because I got the quote standing in front of me. The fight I am looking forward to the most is actually you and Savannah Marshall. Yeah, Marshmallow. That, oh, there you go. That little exchange you had with her yeah. after her fight uh, was epic. Uh, tell me what you think about Savannah Marshall and about this fight. I think she a pussy. That's what I think. You know, we're we supposed to be announcing our fight on Monday, and Savannah Marshall was a no-show. Not returning no emails and ain't returning no calls. And we're supposed to be announcing our, our fight. And I'm supposed to be getting on a flight on Monday after our press conference and flying to the UK to do another press conference, and she's no-show. So I don't know what's going on with Savannah Marshall, but I think she's realized that um, it's going to take more than punch and power to beat me. And it's going to and it's going to take more than uh, me coming to her hometown for her to beat me because she thought I was afraid of that. And I went on here and said, shit, let's do it. And then all of a sudden now, you hear crickets. But like I was telling everybody, she never wants to fight me for real. She just wanted the attention. But now... She has talked so much trash that it's it's kind of in, it's inevitable for her to get out of the way of the fight now. It's, it has to happen. So even though she's hiding and sucking her tail, she's still going to have to fight me one way or the other. Well, there you go. I'm looking forward to tomorrow night. I know yeah. you are as well. Clarissa, on behalf of Maestro and the Boxing Voice, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Absolutely.